Did both of you, or before you even started this sitcom, did you both look up to her as a kind of role model? What's sort of perfect about it is Helen knew everything about Catelyn, read everything. Based and on I, her appearance on Catelyn Wall. Yeah, <laughs> I was aware of who Catelyn was. I think I followed her on Twitter because she's hilarious on Twitter. But I hadn't read any of her books. I didn't really know much. Um, and Helen has this brilliant story about how she came to meet Catelyn and get the role. And Whereas my story is very Aretha in that I just got a call from my agent, went to my audition and did my thing. But um, yeah, what's great, I think that's really weird and but ironic that <laughs> you knew everything and celebrated it and yeah. loved it. And why why so? In. What is it about her that you admire so much? Um, well, it's like I said before, I think that she just is like... Well, I think she's me, um, and in a way, I slightly resent her for having stolen my life and my career because I was like, "Who is this person who is just doing exactly what I wanted to be doing?" Um, but then also, like, that's why everybody feels like that. I think about Catelyn Moran, or at least a lot of people do, where she says things that you already agree with, and you already are like, "Yeah, that's what I think too," and she just says them. And I remember reading this interview where she said. What she does is she just writes things so that then you'll go off and talk about them in, in the pub with your friends. So I think that nothing about her is about you know being famous or a pretentious or a pretense like she is. The person you read exactly is the person that now we yeah. have got to know. And like the story of how I got the part was I was a huge fan and I went to see her at Birmingham Literature Festival um, and she talked about the fact she was writing a sitcom so I ran to get my book signed at the end and I was like, oh, I should play you and she was like, yeah, you should and she wrote down her email address in, in my book of Moranthology and I then drafted about 17 emails and um, sent her the final one and she replied like, dude, I've already Googled you and sent you off to the producers and then, yeah, a few months later I got an audition and then a few months later I got the part but yeah, we met at the audition process and that was the first time that you met Catelyn and Kaz, wasn't it? Yeah. And the second time I met her, mm. they came into the room and it was really strange because obviously we were sitting yeah. opposite from them. like Trying to be them. Hello. <laughs> they say you should never meet your idols, but she'd been every bit as, as sort yeah. of, well, whatever you wanted her to be, how, how she sort of lived up to your expectations. Yeah, Catelyn and Kaz are the most inspiring, amazing women mm. in the world. And what's so exciting is, again, I read something Catelyn wrote that was like, she, was, she said this message to her daughters about how you should only surround yourself with people who bring out the best in you. And the thing about Catelyn and Kaz is it's not like we're great, it's about how they interact with other human beings. And so when we surround ourselves with them, it feels like we're like them and it feels like we can do everything that they can do as well. And I think they're so inspiring in that sense. Um, and it's been such a privilege to get to be part of the Moran family.